Hey everyone, hope you're all having a great day. It's your boy back with another video. A continuation of the last one actually. We're gonna look at more global changes and a continuation with the material changer. So this could be, I don't know, you could do all kinds of things with this. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So we have our standard cube here called Earth Thing. And it's just a cube, nothing fancy. And we're gonna add some udon behaviors to them. You can uncheck these if you don't need those. And we are gonna, these are actually, these scripts are uh, assets included with the VRC SDK3. So we don't need to make these two. We're just going to, um, add them so you want send event on mouse down and we want for our other one toggle sync got to spell it right okay So for send event on mouse down, we're going to look at the event name and we're going to name this global, because that's what we're doing, global, change mat, it's not change material, but mat for short. And we're going to leave the target uh, we're gonna change that in a minute, but it's gonna be just like that for now. And I think we are good at the moment. I'm actually not even sure if we need this toggle sync. We'll experiment with that in a minute. Okay, so under art thing, create an empty object. We're gonna call this material changer. Sorry, material changer and add component udon. And this is also going to be a pre made one change material on event. We're going to open the udon graph here. And I already edited it. But here is what you are going to want to do right here. So let's go ahead and delete it. Okay, and there should be something we can interact right here. Just delete the interact and we'll start over. So create node, event, custom event, connect the noodle, name it, change material. Just gonna copy this. And this is global change mat into a custom. Right, let's just type an event. Udon behavior. Udon behavior. Send custom network event. Event name. Change material. Now that we have that working, here is where you are going to set how many materials you want to cycle through, and it can be any number you want. Um, let's do three. So this is actually going to be four because there's the initial one, and this would be the first click, second click, third click, and then back to the initial. So count from zero or negative one, I guess in this case, because you will have four. Let's look for some 
textures or materials rather. Let's go back to our material changer and now that we actually have those, you'll probably actually have your materials ready. And if you don't, well, let's say make them. Okay, let's go back to our art thing and have it target our material changer under the send event on mouse down. I think we're good to give it a test run. One minor thing I almost didn't catch is make sure you grab your cube and go back to your material changer and grab your cube called art thing or whatever you named it and drag it, drag it into the mesh renderer. And just for our own purposes, let's get down to our materials and we're going to, actually not that, let's, uh, this cube is going down to the ground. Let's make it look weird, so let's fix that. Perfect. Okay, now we're good to test it. So it seems like it actually froze here, and you can see that it's working, but it is actually working. You just have to take my word for it here. Um, when for whatever reason, whenever I tried to open two clients and record this part, it just didn't want to uh, go, them, go for more than one FPS. So test it on your own client, but it should be working. Um, it worked on mine, so I don't know what else to say there. So yeah, you could do that for... Um, all kinds of uses really you could have it as like a menu and then have different things on the menu or you could do it as you know like uh, some people do like the questions like next questions on a screen it cycles through the questions on a screen or um, there's a lot of different things you could do that for but it's really limited by how you intend to use it and uh, if this worked for you and you were able to follow along I appreciate it if you guys drop a like comment subscribe any of the above it makes me keep wanting to make more videos it gives me a little feedback uh, but yeah see you guys next time and have a great rest of your day and go make some stuff